Hey everyone. So in this video, I'm excited to share a fantastic tool that I recently discovered uh, while browsing Reddit. It's called Docflare. This powerful tool automates Cloudflare tunnel creation and management using Docker labels, making this process seamless. Uh, I want to do a huge shout out to, I think it's Crispy Bacon Dev for this incredible project. It's the perfect solution for my self-hosted environment. And I can't wait to show you how it works. So let's begin. All right, so let's start off with the compose.yaml file. It's pretty basic. Um, I'm using the stable version of the Docflare image. I'm looking at the port configuration. This is for the web UI. I have it commented out since I'll be accessing it through traffic as my reverse proxy. And I'll briefly go over that in the next step. So for the .env file, um, I have all the variables stored in a .env file. And then for networks, if you're already running an external Cloudflare Docker tunnel and prefer to use that instead of having Docflare create one for you, you'll just need to ensure that Docflare is on the same network as the Cloudflare agent. So in my case, I'll have that option commented out because I'll let Docflare handle my tunnel creation. So I'm just going to go ahead and comment this out now. And since I'm using traffic, I'll place Docflare within my traffic network. So moving on to my traffic configuration, this is under my config.yaml file. I've set the entry point for uh, the Docflare configuration to HTTPS. Uh, for the host rule, it defines the URL to access the web UI, in which case it's going to be docflare.traffic.geniehome.net. And then for middlewares, I just created a chain called primary, which combines the default headers and the HTTPS redirect middlewares. Um, and then for TLS, it's enabled, and I named the service Docflare. Moving on to the services, the server URL simply points to the Docker container name, and then it's assigned to port 5000. Also, before moving on, I want to highlight an important part of this configuration. So I've set up two hosts for vault boarding as well as for photo prism. One is designated only for the internal network access. And then the other one is specifically routed through the Cloudflare tunnels created by Docflare for public access through the internet. Moving on to the .env file. So there's four key variables you need to define, and that'll be the CF API token, which is used for authentication with Cloudflare. You also need the Cloudflare, Cloudflare account ID, which identifies your Cloudflare account. You'll need the zone ID, which specifies the DNS zone that you're managing. And then you'll need to specify a tunnel name. In this case, I'll just put Docflare tunnel for mine. So for the remaining variables, I'll walk you through how to retrieve them now. So if you've watched some of my previous videos, you should be familiar with creating API tokens. Just as before, once you log into Cloudflare, you'll want to go to your profile and then API tokens. From here, you want to create a token. As you can see, I already have Docflare already created. You go to create token. And then you'll choose custom token, create custom token. You'll give your token a name. And then for permissions, the first one you want to choose is zone DNS edit. And then you want to add one more permission for account Cloudflare tunnels and edit. For zone resources, you want to include a specific zone, and then you'll choose the domain that you manage. And then you'll just click to summary, and then you'll click create token. Once you do that, you'll be able to copy the token, and then you'll paste that in the .env file. Now for the account and zone ID, you'll want to go back to the main page, and then once you're in the main page, you'll want to click on the domain that you manage. From here, all you have to do is scroll down. And then on the right side, 
you'll be able to see your account ID and your zone ID. And from here, you can just copy that and paste that into the .env file. So now that we have our environment variable set up, we can start the container and then try to access the main web UI page. So we'll run a sudo docker compose up dash D. Once the container start, we can review the logs to make sure there are no errors. Okay, it looks good to me. So let's try to access the web UI now. All right, so I was able to reach the web UI page. So looking at it, this tool, this project is relatively new. So I'm not sure if authentication is available yet. However, you can easily secure it by placing it behind an identity provider such as Authentic or Athelia. From the web interface, you can view the status of the Cloudflare tunnel agent it creates. So this is the one that it created with the option to stop the agent at any time as well. You also get visibility into all the Cloudflare tunnels on your account associated with your account along with any real-time activity logs which is pretty cool. Under the uh, Manage Ingress Rules section, you can manually add rules. For example, I could configure PhotoPrism and Vault Warden here to use the Cloudflare tunnel, making them accessible over the public internet. However, instead of doing this manually, we can streamline the process using Docker labels. So looking at Vault Warden's compose.yaml file, I have added three labels. So the first one is the cloudflare.tunnel.enable, which will be set to true, which enables the doc flare management. Next, you have the cloudflare.tunnel.hostname, which will be the host we configured in traffic's config.yaml file to be used publicly. So in this case, it was vaultwarden.geniehome.net. Then the last label is the cloudflare.tunnel.service, which will be the internal host that we've configured within traffic's config.yaml file, which in this case will be vault.traffic.geniehome.net. Once you add those labels, you'll want to restart your service. So I'll restart Vault Warden. So I went ahead and did the setup for PhotoPrism as well. So now if we, if we refresh the Docflare web, web UI, you should see now that we have an active role for both Vault Warden and PhotoPrism. And there you have it. And then if we look at our Cloudflare Tunnel uh, Zero Trust Overview, if you go to, as you can see here, this is the tunnel that Docflare created. And then if you go to Configure, this is where you can see the configuration for the public host right here. And there you have it, Docflare. I'm excited to see how this project grows. And uh, if you can, please go contribute uh, slash support uh, Crispy Bacon Dev if you can. If you found this video helpful, please make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more tech tips and tutorials. If you have questions or want to share your own setup experience, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time.